This is one of the great cars here. I mean, that's saying something, considering how many wonderful cars there are here. But it's a 2.9 Alfa Romeo, 1933. It's an eight-cylinder car, but the, the wonderful thing is that it hasn't been messed with. It hasn't been worked on, polished up, and the owner, Hugh Taylor, is a real preservationist. And, and that's so great, because we want to spread the word that you just, if it's not over-restored already, if it does have, uh, it does some originality to it, then conserve it, don't restore it. And this, I mean, it's... It, it's funny, there were all, uh, earlier this morning in the lineup before the tour, there were all these nice, beautiful, fixed up cars. Everyone was around this car. So I'm not the only one that loves it. I mean, just, just uh, this incredible, this incredible surface on the paint. Uh, little parts that have been replaced have been replaced honestly, and just, just, it's part of its history, it's part of its life. And the man who really knows is Hugh Taylor, the owner of several beautiful cars, but especially this car, which you drove, are driving today, right, in the tour. Indeed, indeed. Find so, it a little bit difficult when she has to climb the hills. She doesn't like it. At a slow speed, right? At a slow right? speed, they don't, they don't like it. So why did you keep this car original? I've always believed with these old cars, let's, for heaven's sake, keep them as they were, if we can. Um, I, I've always used this idea that people wouldn't destroy beautiful paintings and valuable paintings by trying to overpaint them. I've never known why they do it with cars. But this car was um, originally bought by Frank Griswold, and then bought by one of, I think, the great restorers and, or should I say, people who looked after old cars, uh, David Eli. But David refused to touch these cars. This car he bought from literally the, the track in Indianapolis. Right from the track. Right from the track. In what year, roughly? In, it was about 46, I think. It was 46 and 47, I think, it, it did its last two tours of, of Indianapolis. But he hasn't touched it. There was, there was an interesting discussion because this was, the, the car has Don Lee special on the side. Don Lee, in fact, had five of these 2.9 engines. Mm -hmm. And the, the right one for this car was left with him for some years. The whole chassis is absolutely as it was. The paintwork has not been touched. I refuse to touch it. And a car it's so beautiful when the body, the engine, reflects the life it's lived. You know, that is part of the beauty. That's part of the car. And what we're trying to do here at Pebble Beach, and Ed Gilbertson was one of the, of course, started the whole movement, and Peter Hageman and, and the whole the whole team, is to spread the word that, that preservation is so important. And my dream is to see a preservation car win the Concorde d'Elegance. That, that would make me, that would make me happy. Thank you.